Hello viewers and subscribers from around the world. I just want to state something that is so obvious and it's painful to note. Nigeria currency from 80 Kobo to $1 in 1980. Now it is 450 Naira to $1. That's today. Um, 2020. We are in the month of July. And here are the major reasons as captured by an anonymous writer. This material is copied, the material that we are building from. Um, it's painful and we shouldn't be surprised. And in 1980, we were far more productive than today. 1980, you could imagine about 40 something years ago, about 40 years ago, four decades ago, we were more productive. And in 1980, the key reasons for Nigeria's economic growth were as follows, as compiled by this anonymous writer. One, he said we were a net exporter of refined petroleum products. Today, we import all our refined petroleum products. Two, we rode in locally assembled cars, buses, and trucks, Peugeot cars in Kaduna and Volkswagen cars in Lagos. Leyland, you know that, I uh, you know that car, in Ibadan, and Anamku in Enugu produce our buses and trucks. You know Stair at Baoshi producing our agricultural tractors. You know the Stair tractors. And it was not just assembly. We were producing many of the components. Vono products in Lagos producing the seeds. Exide in Ibadan producing battery. You know Exide batteries. It's not just for Nigeria but for the entire West Africa. That is how sad the things have, things have become today. You know, isoglass and TSG in Nevada producing the windshields. Where are they today? Ferrodo in Nevada producing the brake parts and discs. Tires produced by Dunlop in Lagos and Michelin in Port Harcourt. How many of you remember Michelin? And you know what? These tires were produced from rubber plantations located in River State. And number three, we were listening to radio and watching television sets and they assembled in Ibadan by Sanyo. How many of us remember Sanyo? Oh, Nigeria. Number four. We were using refrigerators, freezers, and air conditioners produced by... Uh, who can tell us? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Tamoku. <laughs> Number five. We were putting on clothes produced from the UNTL textile mills in Kaduna and Chela Rams in Lagos. You remember Chela Rams? These were not from imported cotton, but from cotton grown in Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria. <laughs> then number six. Our water was running through pipes produced by Kwali Pipe. Kwali Pipe in Kano. Number seven, our toilets were fitted with WC produced at Kano and Abiokuta. Number eight, we were cooking with LPG gas stored inside gas cylinders produced at the NGC factory in Ibadan. Number nine, our electricity was flowing through cables produced by Nigeria Wire and Cable. Ibadan and 
carbon metal in Lagos and Port Harcourt. Number 10, we had butter. How many of you remember butter shoes? We had butter and Leonard's producing the shoes we were putting on. Not from imported leather, but from locally tanned leather at Kaduna. I think Abba was also there. Number 11. We were mainly flying our airways, the Nigeria airways, to most places in the world. Is Nigeria Airways still there? As about that time, Nigeria Airways was the biggest in Africa. Number 12. Most of the food we eat were being grown or produced in Nigeria. We were producing all of the above were listed above in 1980. Today we import almost everything. Nigeria even import toothpick. Politin bags sometimes. I think <laughs> it's amazing. There lies the source of the terrible exchange rate we are experiencing today and everything and everybody reading this has a, a critical role to play in reversing this very ugly trend. Um, well, it is not enough for us to complain about the exchange rate or point out what others are not doing or are failing to do. The key question is, what are we producing or what are we planning to produce? The other day, the senators, instead of buying innocent cars, made in Nigeria cars, they, they had to, they prefer Prado Jeeps imported. They refused the innocent car. So going forward, it's time to ponder and think of the way forward progressively before it's too late. Um, Credits to, credit to the unknown writer of this beautiful reminder. Though um, he failed to mention certain other products from southern Nigeria as well, but credit to him, at least we know where the rain started beating us. We have been talking about these problems and more for ages. What solutions do we have in mind? What solutions? Please add your comment on the comment section of this YouTube. Give us solutions. We would like to know what to do to um, make things better. And let, let you know, I realize things you buy $20 in US in 1980, you still buy them $20 today. $20 today, yes, or highest you buy $20 point some cents. So, what, what, what how can we fix this thing back? Meanwhile, um, the beer friends. Um, they are not more comfortable. Yeah, they are looking for a, a home. The Bia, um, Biafra. They are looking for Biafra. And they, they believe when we get Biafra, things will change. What do you think? Please add your comment on the comment section of the YouTube. I am Azuka Uzo OJ. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.